Before the Quran said that, though, yeah. we had our scriptures which said, in the beginning was the word, and word was with God, and word was God. So yes. I'm saying at that point in time, yeah. there's no, from what I can tell, there's no historical evidence. Yeah. So I have to go now. Can you take over? No, no problem, no problem. No, here's it's nice. Here, take the take. I the can't, I can't. Harry, thank you. Uh, you're gonna think I'm a cop, but I can't much. even say for that long. No, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, wherever, yeah, wherever, okay. wherever you can, wherever you want to say. As I said, may God okay. guide us all to the right path. Well, yeah, all I was gonna say is, is that um, from the first century AD, yeah, th there's. Well, there's no historical evidence that I've seen so far, that I've heard of so far, that yeah. the Quran existed. So we had the... No, the Quran didn't exist from there. The Quran came like... Uh... No, yeah, I'm, I'm just saying that if I was to speak to an archaeologist and say, you know, like, carbon date, the earliest Quran you can find, I don't think yeah. they would say 1st century AD, if I'm not mistaken. 1st century AD? So, yeah, so in the 1st century AD, so d during Jesus' time, or well, let's just say 33 AD, Oh, there was no Quran. Are you talking about Bible or Quran? No, no, I'm talking about the Quran. Okay. So what I'm trying to say is, is no, the that Quran came 600 years after Jesus. Yeah. So what I'm trying to say is, is that you was quoting from the Quran to say how yeah. you view Jesus Christ. Yes, yes. And I'm saying, but yeah. from the Christians of the first century, yeah. there was obviously no Quran or Islam about for them to. We believe Islam was there. We believe Islam was there from time of Adam. At the time of Jesus, the same thing. That's why the church fathers, for example, if you look at the early Christians, the concept of Jesus being divine was not something that was established then. It came later on. It was something that was put together. The Council of Nicaea, etc. Uh, Christian, so, the so, Council of Nicaea. Yeah. Um, that, that was to that that was to stamp out heresy. It wasn't to establish what the what Christians believe in, because Orthodox Christians yeah. already believe, and it can be proven from the first century yeah. that Christians believe Jesus to be divine. Where? But what it was from the first century, so from the writings, so, so Josephus, um, Tatticus, okay. um, Polycarp, uh, yeah. early another early church fathers. Yeah. Yeah. I say Orthodox. So I'm not yeah. saying that there wasn't other. Um, uh, what would you say? But the concept of the Trinity. These church yeah, fathers, yeah, did they did they believe that the Holy Spirit was co-equal? Yeah, because the Holy Spirit is the No, the early church fathers never ever brought the Trinity. It, it was it was the Father, then they were, like you said, discussion on Jesus being divine, but the Holy Spirit was not even in the picture. Yeah, but when, when so, you look, so, when, so, when so you the Trinity this, that you're talking about now, yeah. you'll be seen as a heretic. No, but when you, you get what I'm trying to say? when you look at Genesis 1, when we look at creation, yeah. is it in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth, yeah. and the earth was up form, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then it says, and the Spirit of God, um, I think something like hovered over the face of the waters. Okay. Um, obviously, I'm reading the English translation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spirit there is in capital. Yeah. So that Spirit would believe to be referred to as the Holy Spirit, i.e. the Spirit of God. Yeah. So it was always understood from the time of the Jews that the Holy Holy Spirit was God. Which of the church fathers ever brought when the, the whole concept of the Trinity, mm. the way we well, have I, it, the, 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 way, the, way, the way you have it now, that for example, co equal, like for example, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, yeah. they are co equal. Yeah. Yeah? So this concept in the early, the church fathers never believed in that. The, the, there was the Father, there was Jesus, yeah. which was a whole discussion is he God, is he yeah. not God? But the Holy Spirit was nowhere in the picture. Yeah. To the early church fathers. So the Trinity that you believe today, if you went to the early church fathers, they'll call you heretic. They'll say, okay. this is it. So, so the point no, I'm trying to say yeah, okay. is that it's a, an idea that was developed. Now, in the Quran, what we believe, Jesus' message was very systematically same with Moses, Abraham, all the prophets, and Prophet Muhammad, because the message is what? Worship God alone. That's why it says in the Acts, Acts 2, chapter 22, yeah? Um, um, it says, Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved by God with wonders, miracles, and signs, which God died, did by him, and you are a witness to it. So what we see is, that's Islam. Because what that says is, Jesus did all these miracles, which we accept by the power of God. He is himself not God. So what we say to our Christian fellow, uh, uh, him, uh, like, brothers and sisters yeah. is that you are transgressing God's rights by as ascribing his attributes to Jesus. Yeah. That's where we differ. Uh, me, I, 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 I would just add one thing uh, about the Holy Spirit. He uh, said it, when Jesus said he will come, the Holy Spirit. So yeah. Him, no, but, say, it will come. No, but, yeah. that, but that, that fits perfectly yeah. to Prophet Muhammad because he says, I've got many things to say unto you for, for but, but you cannot bear them now. For he, for the, for he, the spirit of truth shall come. He shall guide you unto all truth. For he shall not speak of himself. As he speaks, he shall, um, as he, and he shall glorify. Yeah. Okay. Something like that. But he says he, 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 he. Yeah. Which other religion glorifies Jesus? Yeah. yeah because the, the Holy Spirit. The different denominations say we have the Holy Spirit. Which other religion glorifies Jesus the way Islam does? Well, I would argue actually against None. The, Zero. The, the Jesus Zero. Uh, in the Quran or, or Isa, which yeah. I believe is a, a, a wrong translation. The yeah. reason being is, is because Jesus' name itself, in the, in, in the original Hebrew, it means yeah. Yeshu, Yeshua, uh, forgive my pronunciation, which means the Lord is our salvation, which also translates as 
Yahweh is our salvation. We've also got another prophet in the Quran as well, Elijah or Elias, yeah. um, which means, oh geez, um, sorry, forgive me. Sorry. The Lord is... Um, With us? No, that's yes, Emmanuel. Um, sorry, mm -hmm. give us one second. No problem. Um, Elijah, name me. Sorry, just give us one sec. No problem, do that. I'll just say. So, like, basically, in a nutshell, while um, you're looking for that, right. is that for us, that what we're seeing is that the message of the Quran is consistent with the previous scriptures and the previous prophets. It's very simple. Worship God alone. Do not ascribe partners to men. We know in the couple of commandments, the first commandments, I am a jealous God. Yeah, God makes that very categorically clear. And even when we look at this, Jesus always glorifies the Father. So the thing is, it's as if the Father is the main, like, like the, the, the one that's at the top that needs to be glorified because Jesus glorified him. Yeah. So the so said, I okay, up, so said, yeah, I, I can of myself do nothing. As so, I see, I yeah, judge. So, I'm a judgment is just. I don't seek my will by the will of my father. Yeah, sorry. So like I was saying, so um, the name Jesus, yeah. um, the Lord is my salvation, or Yahweh is my salvation. Yeah. And um, the name Elijah, I've just pulled up Google there. Yahweh is my God. Okay. Um, now we know that Elijah is mentioned in the Quran. Yeah, yeah. This, yeah, 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 yeah. And this is a big dilemma because the name translates, as you can see, is Yahweh is my God. But if Elijah is a prophet no, of no, yeah, yeah, Allah, sorry. Hold on a but if Elijah is a prophet of Allah, how can his name mean Yahweh is my God? Because that the name Yahweh is not Allah. Allah is Arabic for Al Allah. Uh, sorry, is no, it's, Allah, it's which the, means the true God. God. The, the, so the God, yeah. point I'm making is, yeah. is that there's a contradiction there where a Muslim will say that according to the Quran, yeah. Elijah is a prophet of Allah, mm. but the name Elijah or Elias itself translates as Yahweh, not Allah, but Yahweh is my God. And I okay. haven't made it up. Um, no, we haven't seen you made see up. It there. Um, I've just typed in Elijah, Elijah name meaning. Yeah. And it says Yahweh is my God. So yeah. the, 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 I mean, this just just one example. But, but how does? But that's what yeah, the point I'm making is: is that how does that it, support Jesus being God? Well, for starters, yeah. Yahweh is salvation. I'm not going. I haven't. I'm not talking about Yahweh because me arguing that Yah that Jesus is God. Mm. That's an argument I'd really make from the Bible, not from the Quran. But the point I'm making yeah. is yeah, is that the biblical prophets yeah. that are mentioned in the Quran, yeah. it doesn't cohesively fit together because with Jesus, for example, and Elijah, their name means that they worship a different God from Allah. Not really, because you the thing what is, saying? but what you're doing is you're arguing based on the Bible. So you're saying, for example, yeah, I'm, but before uh, the Quran, yeah. but before the Quran was yeah. written, codified, yes, yeah. before Muhammad was yes. even born, yes. The, the Old Testament scriptures yeah. and the New Testament scriptures were in existence. And before the New Testament, and, what was there? Uh, the Old Testament, okay, the Hebrew so, so, Bible. So, so, and the point yeah, I'm making exactly. is, is that and Jews and Christians have always known yeah. the name meaning of Jesus or Yeshua yeah. in Hebrew and the name of Elijah. Okay. And they haven't meant Allah, yeah. it's always meant Yahweh. So okay. it proves that we worship two different mm, gods. No, 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 we don't. We believe that it's it's one God, but Yahweh the thing is, is you've gone like... No, 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 no. If we, if we, Allah. if we, if we... I don't, no, 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 no. One second, one second. What I'm trying to say is this, yeah? Yeah, Before the Quran was the, the New Testament. Before the New Testament was the Old Testament. Oh, wait, I, I, my, I nodded my head, but I don't agree. But okay, so, okay no, tell me if you agree. Before the Quran came was the New Testament. Yeah, but I, I, I don't, just to clarify, yeah. I don't link the Quran as like the third piece of the puzzle to the Old Testament. No, no problem, no problem. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Okay, so before yeah, the New Testament yeah, was yeah. the Old Testament. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. so in the Old Testament, when we talk to Jews here, does any of them ever believe in Sorry, talk to you. Jewish people? Oh, Jews, yeah, yeah. Old Testament, yeah. Who, who speak the language. Yeah, yeah. None of them ever believe in this concept of um, Trinity, God having equals to himself, outright rejection. So you've got the, G the Jews before you, and you've got the Muslims in front of you, who are telling you both that, firstly, the Jews are telling you, you've got it all wrong. And then the Muslims are coming and saying, you've got it wrong. The only thing that w us and the Jews agree on is that God has no partners and it's blasphemy. Yeah. So now forget Muslims were aside. The Jews themselves are telling you then they but know officially, their book. Officially, none so of the so rabbis I've come across ever told me that it talks about yeah, Jesus. So, so, so you tell no, no, me. No, I, I agree with you. I, I agree with what you're and, saying. And, and you use the Old Testament. But as I'm saying, I agree with what you're saying in principle. Yeah. I would, however, argue that some some Jewish rabbis and scholars yeah. did notice um, a triune nature that God possessed. But if, but I, in principle, they would leave they yeah, would they would leave I'm, the fold of Judaism. Yeah, but I'm, I'm just saying that in yeah. principle, I, I agree with what exactly. You're saying, so 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 are we, okay. So can we say that yeah. Islam? Let's put Christianity to a side. Yeah, yeah. Is Islam consistent with the the worship of oneness of God with Judaism? Do you read the question again? Sorry. Okay, so the, the principle, the, the concept of is, uh, God in Islam, mm. yeah? Would you say it is very, very close to the concept of God in Judaism? No, I wouldn't. I think that's a loaded question. I do believe in that in, that in Islamic 
theology, yeah. you believe you worship one God. I don't think in reality it works that way because I believe that you deify Muhammad to a level that he is effectively God. That's my person. That's my personal. You don't do that. That's no, 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 that's, no, that's no, his opinion. That's his opinion. That's his opinion. I'm not saying that yeah, your opinion. theology yeah, yeah. teaches that. Yeah. I'm not saying. No, that's, I'm that's just saying that in terms of the. The, the, the reverence that yeah. you give to Muhammad yeah. it is akin to a level of deity. That's my observation. I'm not. I'm do, not do, 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 do you should be following, isn't it? Do you find that problem? Yeah, but then there's loads of prophets. Do, 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 so do, do, why can't I follow I, I, different do, do, people what? at those times just following those prophets? Isn't it? Okay, so, sorry, do you but, find that problematic that you what? see us? It seems like us doing that. Is that problematic? Say again. So the fact it's not, that it's not problematic for me okay. because it's not my salvation. That's on okay. The line. No, no problem. But as as a person looking at us and the way we glorify Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, yeah. Do you find that problematic in the context of that shouldn't be done? That, that, you that we shouldn't glorify him to that level. If, if a person is not God, then you shouldn't glorify him. Exactly. So the thing is the same thing that we have with you guys, where you are doing the same with Jesus. Yeah. So we don't do that anyways, yeah. but you guys do it and you claim you do yeah, that. Yeah, but the difference is, is that our scripture, and I know you, like, I'm not saying you personally, yeah, yeah. but I know, I've noticed, or I haven't yet met a Muslim that hasn't cherry-picked a verse in the Bible, yeah. but if there's any ambiguity in the terms of what Jesus says, my yeah. father's greater than I, yeah, yeah. loads of I am a father as one, yeah. yeah. Um, there's there's verses in the Bible that yeah. point blank say that Jesus is God. Show me one. Okay, yeah, go for it. <laughs> no, 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 go for it. Se uh, two, Second Titus 13. Second Titus 13. Um, another one is, I think, wait, let me just double check actually, that Second Titus 13. Um, Yes. Second. While we wait for, so this is. I'm just reading the NIV, which is the first one that I clicked on. So yeah. that's Titus 2:13. Yeah. While we wait for the blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ. So that's one verse. We wait for what? Say that again. Say repeat. Again. Um, while we wait for the blessed hope, yeah, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Saviour, Jesus Christ. So how is that? So and how, how, one second. So I'm asking you yeah. that did Jesus claim that for himself? Because so, there are a lot of people... This, and there's this is the a lot, point I was making that Muslims cherry pick verses. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't cherry pick because it. that could be understood yeah, in two yeah, ways. But, but you're going to say that because Jesus didn't say it doesn't count. No, no, there's two things. Number okay, one, we can right, understand right. in two ways. Number one, the, there's another verse in the Bible where it says, um, my, my Lord and my God. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah? yeah, yeah and, they, and they and they and they say yeah. yeah. So they basically make it to seem like they're talking to Jesus, but that could be understood as my God and my Lord. Yeah, but when you look at one second, okay, yeah. so the same can, can be said here. So it can say the glory of our great God and Jesus uh, Savior, uh, Jesus um, and Jesus Savior, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Okay, so the same could be understood. What we're saying is, where did Jesus? Because you need to understand, if if he if God Almighty has been sent down to earth, yeah. his message should be categorically clear. So we must don't come and pick yeah. cherry pick yeah if jesus had a statement where he yeah. uttered and said look i am god worship me let me tell you something muslims would never come next to you yeah. muslims would never uh, 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 rebuke but, you but why does but, the person but, no they have to because if their whole thing is salvation and they've come to save the whole world yeah. we want to be saved why, too why does the person is why does a person only have to say my uh, uh, i am god worship me in order yeah. to prove that god, god. god, 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 god because yes. we, we have to understand right is that uh, as Christians, yeah. we don't judge the Bible through the lens of the Quran. We just no, read the Bible not. for what it says. Of course. Now, we don't say that, oh, because Jesus um, did it, isn't quoted as saying this, it doesn't count. We look at every single verse in the Bible okay. and weigh up the context, right? Then how so do you... you take, well, okay. so, so you brought up John 20, 28, yeah. where Thomas says to Jesus, my yes. Lord and my God, right? Yes. Now, I've heard some people argue, me, argue sorry, yeah. that um, Thomas was blaspheming, like, oh my God, rather than you are my Lord and you are my God. Yeah. But you have other verses in the Bible, such as Matthew 28, 17, yeah. where it says when they sin him or something along those lines, they worship, they fell down and they worship Jesus. So you have several occasions, two or three occasions mentioned in the gospels where Jesus is being worshiped, he doesn't refuse it. When you look at the reasons as to why the Jews, the Pharisees tried to stone Jesus, yes, of course, they were jealous of him. Yeah. But for example, John 10, 30, where Jesus says, I and my father are one, the Jews look to pick up stones to stone him. Yeah, and what did he and say? then when you look at the verse, and what did he several say? verses later, yeah. I'll get onto that. Yeah. But they said, 
we're not stoning you for any good work that you've done, but you've been blasphemy. a mere man claimed to be God. Exactly. So no, what did he say? What did he say? Yeah, but hold on a second. Before I get to, I'm not going to get to that. Don't yeah. worry. Don't, I'm not going to run away. Yeah. Um, but before we get to that, what you have to understand is, is that the Pharisees who did know scripture, yeah. they didn't know the whole totality, but yeah. they did know scripture well enough yeah. to know that Jesus was making a divine claim because they tried to stone him for claiming to be no, God. No, they were looking for excuses same, to do that. And it's the same thing as well, just to say, yeah. it's the same thing as well, because when Jesus was brought before Pilate and um, he said he said to the crowd that you're going to see the Son of Man riding on the clouds. He was quoting Daniel Daniel 7 verse 13. Yeah. They took that as meaning, if you're saying that you're the same person, the Son of Man that rides on the clouds, that is a clear claim of deity. And that is why the high priest, I believe it was, said, is there any, is there, you've heard it for yourselves, is there any reason why this man shouldn't be crucified along those lines? Now, when we get to John 10, 34, which is what you wanted to bring up, where Jesus says, is it not written in your Lord that you are God? He are God. That is not Jesus saying, I am not God. He is just saying, that in the law it is saying that you are God. So why are you trying to stone me for? No, no, no. When he says you are God, what's he what's he saying? Is okay. he saying that in the literal sense that he is God? He's okay. saying, do you guys not so you do you not when he says you are yeah. God, right? So yeah. when we go back to Genesis 2, it says that God made man out of the yeah. dust of the earth yeah. and breathed into him into him the breath of life, and okay. man became a living soul. Yes. So in other words, God imparted, when it says breathed in, yes. it's not a literal breath of life, of course. but it's saying that yes. God imparted uh, his image into mankind. We don't believe so in, that. No, fair enough, you oh, don't yeah. believe in that, yeah. but this, if you go to secular scholars, they yeah. will say the same thing as well, yeah. that we are made in God's image, so we are distinct from the rest of created beings. Okay. So when Jesus is saying that is it not written in your Lord that you are God's, yeah. he's referring to the fact that we are all made in the image of God, according, okay. according so, to so, the Bible. Okay, scriptures. okay, so when we go to these verses, you're talking about, for example, I am in the Father, as I am, um, the Father is in me, as I I am in him. You remember that verse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, a few verses down, he says the same thing to his companions. Yeah. He says, as I am in the Father, you are in me. Yeah. So now, does that mean they are all gods? <laughs> no, it means that you have God in the Bible. Mm. Do you see how you clarify it? Because now you're, no, 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 hold on a second. Because mm. you, you use a beginning to justify his God. Wait, sorry. When we go a bit further down. the question wrongly. Just, yes. just repeat what you Okay, said, when you go further down those verses, then Jesus. Of John 10. Yes, if I'm saying, when he says, I am. Um, I and my father are one, yeah? The yeah. way you guys try to use that to make Jesus divine, when you read the verses a bit later down, the yeah. same chapter, it says to his companions, as I am in the father and you are in me, mm. he makes the same reference. Now, does that mean, if that's the case, because he's using the same terminology, same language, that they are all God? But they see, this is where you're flooring again, because we don't, as Christians, we yeah. don't base, we, we don't come to the conclusion that Jesus is divine, that Jesus is God, this based is, upon one single verse or verses. No, we're going through many. Again, <coughs> this, this one, you're saying that this sorry. is an evidence. That's right, try to get your water. Uh, no, no, I'm fine. Okay, this is, this is, can, can someone get your water, please? Uh, uh, thank you, uh, thank you. If there's anyone that can get out, uh, I'll get him, bro. No, we're good. Yeah, bro. Uh, <coughs> the, the, Okay, all right, okay, yeah. So, uh, okay, no, it's okay. So the thing, what I'm saying here yeah. is, what's your name, by the way? Uh, Drew. Drew, my name's Ali. Nice yeah, to meet you. Nice so, Drew, what I'm saying is that we are going through these verses that you claim that Jesus they, claims to be. And, and by the way, and by the way, they're ambiguous. That's why I'm making my case and you're making your case. If, if, so, if, if it's ambiguous, can yeah. I just say because there's another verse I brought. Well, let's go through well. one by one, one by one. Yeah. But so, there's verses that say that Jesus is God. Let, so how is no, that? No, no, we can go. No, they, no, there are. They, you claim there are people who are saying that he's God. I'm looking for him to testify. Look, if if somebody has come with a message. Look, the message of Islam and the Prophet Muhammad yeah. was very clear. But that's he came what I'm to saying that you're judging. No, no, no. no. I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying. We know if you go to any Muslim and say to them, "What was the message of the Quran or the Prophet?" They'll say, "La ilaha illallah." There is nothing worthy of worship except God. It's very clear. Now, if the same thing happened with Jesus, his message should be very categorically clear. He should not care about being prosecuted by anybody. Yeah, he is there. He's going to say, "I am God. I don't care if you kill me. I am here." If his message is that. Now, what I'm saying is the following: the verse that you mentioned about I and the Father are one. Following down the verses, if you follow it, it says the same thing, referring to his companions in as I. I am in you, you are in me, and we're in the Father. Ali, so, tell him, it's yeah. in the Bible, God says he's not a God of confusion. No, exactly, that's another one that God says. And for example, there, no, no, there's, there's, there's many. So what I'm saying is that's one. And then the other one um, is I and the Father are one. 
um, there's another one that you mentioned, yeah? So let's go through them one by one. You will see that there's ambiguity. Now, I'm looking for a clear statement from Jesus. Is this uh, how what clear does the statement have to be? Very simple. I yeah. am God, yeah. worship me. And, and if God doesn't, and if Jesus doesn't say, yeah. I am God, worship me, yeah. that means he's not God. Is, is simple. That, is that your Categorically. But that's, that's according to your... You, you know, you know why? No, 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 let me speak, let me speak. Uh, Drew, Drew you know why? Let me tell you why, sorry, forgive me. You know why, Drew? If you told me Jesus was... Um, yeah a companion of a, a, a mighty prophet of God, I would yeah. say, you know what? It doesn't need to be that clear. When you're telling me God who created the heavens and the earth yeah. came to earth and didn't make his message clear, yeah. come on. But where I expect but clarity. Then, but then, yeah, but then where did, I could then flip that and say, where did God say, I am not God, don't worship me? Because with many, many said, verses. I can in, in Matthew 28, 17, he, he accepts people worshiping, he doesn't stop them. Well, okay, so Matthew 28, yeah. 17, let's yeah. have a look. Um, uh, I'll, I'll read it so I can read it. No, no, read it, read it. Because the thing is, even yeah, even yeah. go to the, the the whole veracity, like the 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 Bible okay, being yeah. the word of God, says, is a question that we need to talk about, anyways. Because and it says, and they and when they saw him, they yeah. worshipped him. Yeah. But some doubted. Really sorry, guys. No, sorry, sorry. I'm getting water. I'm getting water. Yeah. So that's Matthew twenty-eight seventeen. Yeah. Now, when you look at Matthew twenty-eight twenty-eight. Matthew, Matthew, what is it? Matthew, Matthew chapter 28, 17. Matthew 28, 17. And then there's no mention there where Jesus said, Stop, what are you doing? Um, Matthew, I'm a God, don't worship. Matthew 28, 17. 28, 17. And what then it says, Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority. Uh, whoever got this from me, thank you so much. God no, bless you. Listen. God bless you. Thank you. And whoever didn't get one from me, may, no, I'm joking. <laughs> and, and it, thank you very much. <laughs> well. God bless you. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, and it says, Then Jesus yeah. came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me okay so if you want to build an argument that Jesus isn't saying that he is God he's made it clear from Matthew 28 18 alone that he has all authority in heaven and in earth so then that leaves no room for Muhammad yeah. or yeah. Allah it leaves room True. for no other That's being in the Bible it says Wait, but, but do you get what I'm saying though? If he said yeah, all authority in heaven, yeah, and then first, uh, can I ask you something? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Wait, wait, everyone's not. One second, one second, one second. Okay, yeah, yeah, go for it. In the Bible, it said, Jesus said, I can of my own self do nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you're yes. reading me that, that's a clear contradiction. First, he's the God of, whole, yes. of the whole of humanity. Now he can of himself do nothing. Which one is it? I'm confused. Okay, you're right. Well, do we, and I'll sort that. Well, the, the question that needs to be asked is you know, in that verse, it says. Can I respond to his question? Please, just quickly. Okay. Yeah. I'm not going to carry on. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, you understand what I'm saying, right? I know exactly, First he's a God, then he I know exactly what you're saying. Yeah. So, Philippians 2, Philip, that's Philippians chapter 2 in the New Testament. And in your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus, who being in the very nature of God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Advantage, Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant and being made in human likeness. So what, that, what those verses means is, is that Jesus being in the very nature of God gave up his divine privileges and took on a human form. So when he said, I can do nothing by himself, he wasn't saying that I was God, but he was saying that when I've taken the form of a man, I'm not going to cheat by using my divine privilege that I once had that, to do uh, to, to that, do miracles. That, 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 hence why Jesus prayed to the Father. Hence why Jesus that, had to speak. That, that, that goes against the nature. What you're doing is exegesis. <clears throat> what you're doing is your own exegesis. Don't all human beings die? No, 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 exactly. no, no, no. But, but what you're doing is your own exegesis onto the onto this uh, verse. The scholars will the, back it as well. No, 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 no. But what I'm trying to say is this: here, yeah? it goes against his own nature. The verses that you're bringing, because the first thing that needs to be talked about yeah. is, for example, the the authenticity of the Bible. I'm just going along with these verses. Okay, but the first thing that needs to be... The Bible, no, no, no. But I'm, that's my point. Okay. All these things that you're mentioning are all in the Bible. Jesus' divinity, him dying for your sins, um, and the Trinity, yeah? yeah? Okay. If the Bible is not the word of God, all of these... Fun, I'm just going with it just to show you verses from our side that can show you yeah, that yeah. Jesus never claimed divinity himself. Even the ones that said they worshipped him, there were some that were had a question mark. Jesus didn't address them and say, hold on a second, I am God. Yeah, do as they are because there were some that fell and worship and there's some that had a doubt. Yeah. Jesus didn't refer to them and say, hold on a second, why are you not bowing down? Let me tell you that I am God. He doesn't do that. Yeah. So what we're seeing is that we can come with a counter because it's ambiguous. But if we go to the crux of the matter, the Bible, is it the word of God? Oh, well, you asked that yes. question, sorry. Uh, yes, I believe Okay, if I you believe, believe the word. okay, can the word of God have contradictions and errors or man-made uh, uh, men writers? <laughs> 
And if, if, if it does, can it, I'm saying can it. Sorry? Can it. If the Bible is written, so, so let me just clarify, right? I yeah. believe the Bible is the word of God. Sorry, I'm yeah. not even holding the Bible. I believe the Bible is the word of God. That is not me saying that I believe that God actually took a pen. No, I we don't, we, that. We don't, we don't believe that. With I, I need to clarify because yeah. I want to make it abundantly clear that the Bible was written by men. And what I mean by Inspired that, by? Inspired by God. Good. Yes, but that does not mean mm. there's no verse that I've ever seen in the Bible, Quran, Hadith, church letters or anything that says that when God inspires someone to write, there's going to be no grammatical errors or no spelling mistakes or no contradictions. So what I'm trying to say to the Muslim audience is, yeah. and Christians as well who may not yeah. know, is that it's an assumption yeah. to say that if a person is inspired to write a scripture verse, like let's just say that I'm like Matthew or whatever, yeah. I'm writing yeah. a Bible verse from Eliza or Isaiah whatever Jeremiah yeah. Yeah. that th th there was never any commandment to say that they're not going to make a spelling mistake or a grammatical I'm not error. talking about spelling mistake I'm not talking about grammatical that can happen but when scribe no no no, no. I'm talking about I'm talking about a human hand in it and when I'm talking about human hand in it I'm talking about not inspired so if God is inspiring men men can make a mistake but yeah. God cannot yeah, yeah, yeah? yeah. So if God is inspiring a person, yeah. the person cannot make that mistake because no, 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 God's no, no, inspired. An assumption. You was right the first part, the second part, you made an assumption. Okay, what's if, the if assumption? If God inspires you to write something, yeah. God didn't create us to be like micromanaged be beings, like like puppets, like he's going to write for us because he might no, as no, well of course do it himself. No, of course. So the what point I'm trying to make... No, I'm, I'm saying... So one second, one second, brothers. Sorry, so I'm just answering one second, um, Ali. So the point I'm making is, yeah. is that if God inspires me to write, like Andrew, write an essay, for example, for your university yeah. paper, yeah? yeah? It doesn't, like... There's no, or I've never heard any verse that says, and when you write, because you're inspired by the Holy Spirit or whatever, you, you're not going to make a grammatical error. No, you or can't. A you're inspired like by God. How can no, you no, make no, a mistake? I'm saying, That's there's no, I'm saying it's an oh, brother, assumption. What I'm trying to say is, is that it is an assumption to say that if a person is inspired by God, they're not going to make any type of fault because it's a. Because when they're writing the scribe, when they're writing God's word, they cannot. No, no, hold on a second. No, 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 that's, that's an assumption. Let's go back. No, 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 no,
they still, that they, they still pronounce the Quran. As well, that Otherwise, we wouldn't have it the today. Verses in the Quran, yeah. so for example, Surah 5, 110, yeah. um, where it talks about Jesus, those yeah. same stories can be found in earlier manuscripts. So then, How does that mean anything? There well, can be stories in the New well, Testament that were saying in the Old Testament. No, the Quran, no, it's not in the Bible at all. The Quran is a revelation. Okay. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. yeah, so reveal means something that was previously hidden. If I go to the dictionary, if I type yeah. in revelation meaning, yes, yes. it's going to say something that was hidden previously, yeah. Yeah. but it's made known. Either, 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 either denied. Well, that's, well, that's, well, 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 that's the misguided. Brothers, brothers, can we allow them to talk, um, please? Yes. Otherwise, we're going off yeah, topic, so, um, yeah, parent. Yeah, revelation meaning that something that was previously hidden or revealed, not known, that has now been revealed, whether it's divine or whether it's human discovery, right? But what I'm trying to say is, is yeah. that if what is if some of the stories that can be found in the Quran can yeah. be found in er, earlier pseudo gospels, yeah. that negates the whole definition of it being a revelation. So, it was so already known. no, the Quran. So, so, so when so when so when the Quran has the Jews saying to Muhammad, oh, like we've heard that before, it's nothing but legends of former peoples. Yeah, yeah. If we say okay, they could be lying, they could be telling the truth. Let's investigate. We find the same stories in earlier manuscripts so then how can it be revelation if it was known by our ancestors because 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 that's, because, that's, because so you know why that, you know that negates you know, it. you know you know you know why it's revelation because the revelation was consistent from the time of adam so when you see similarities in the old, old um, scriptures you are seeing consistency mm. god is showing you consistency it doesn't what, mean what it's any revelation very mean? simple worship god alone yeah, so when, when it, god. one second god. the the god we believe the god allah yeah, yeah. now allah for example no 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 but if you look at Jews, for example, what they call God, yeah, okay, as long as they believe in the attributes, yeah. they don't give the attributes to a human being, they worship him directly, etc. Them calling God by a different name, as long as it befits his majesty, we call him Allah, yeah? yeah? The point I'm trying to say is this, there's consistency, because Allah has also come to defend the honor of the prophets, because in the Bible, you are told that Lot had intimacy with his own daughters, so when the Quran comes and says, you know what, no such thing happened, Muhammad it's also come his, to defend um, the honor. So, how the, okay, one second, firstly, that's a misconception, but let's say argument say, how does that make him not a prophet? In principle, it wouldn't, but the point is, is that I'm saying, if, if, if that's, if that's, if okay, what's, lot, okay, what's how, worse? How's, how's, um, okay, Muhammad Drew, 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 what's, what's worse? Okay, again. What's worse? Let's say argument say, the Prophet Muhammad married his stepson's um, uh, ex-wife. No yeah. problem, argument say. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, adopted son, sorry, adopted son. Yeah. Which one's worse? Killing men, women, children, babies, or marrying that's, your that's, adopted that's, son? That's, that's a jump now. No, no, one second. No, I'm saying to you, which one is worse? That's what I'm saying, but, but that's a leap. But yes, but I'm telling you, I'm making a leap for you to uh, understand. Yeah, I, yeah for, for argument's Which sake, one is worse? I, yeah, for argument's sake, I, w without, any, without yeah. applying any type of context yes. to the reasoning from like that, no I problem. can say, obviously, killing uh, men, women, and children is worse. Okay, so then... But obviously, yeah, then, you're going to quickly leap on and say, but we yes, have to. I've got one. I have to. But no, point, no, I'm not here to... I'm not yeah, to the, the point I'm making is... Just to clarify, I'm not here to say I've got yeah, one. I'm not here for points. Yeah, the point I'm making is, is that is that sin is sin. So, you can say... Who said that's a sin? Hold on a Wait, hold on So, so you brought up Lot, right? Bear in mind that Christians don't see Lot as a perfect example. Of mankind no, no, we're not saying that. Yet. We're saying, yeah. But the you point said, I'm, you yeah, said but, why was the Quran talking about things that were mentioned yeah, before? But, but yeah, but that's but, why I mentioned. But the point is, is that when I brought up um, Muhammad uh, married convincing his stepson yes. to, to divorce, I think his name no, Zainab. No, 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 like no he that. didn't. He did the contrary actually. All right, all right, well, he told uh, him to stay with her. Okay. Well, anyway, um, the point I'm making is, is that if we say, okay, well, this deed in the Bible yeah. is not is worse than yeah. this deed in the Quran. Yeah. You can argue that, that's fine. We didn't by, say that's by, worse. By the same time, or insinuate it, but at the same time, there's the whole thing that if you've sinned, you've sinned. That's why the Bible says that if you if you keep 600, if you keep the whole law of Moses and you break one of them, it's yeah. basically like you've broken all of them. Because at the end of the okay. day, if you're a lawbreaker, you're a lawbreaker. Okay. Whether you've broken one law of the land or whether you've broken every 99 laws. Okay. Do, do you see what I'm yeah. saying? Okay. So but it goes back to my point. Yeah, go back. To you me. mentioned randomly when we were talking about, you talked about why does it mention stuff from the old we said because it's consistent we no, believe in the in bible the no no, no. listen we believe we believe in the, in the, the story bible. of pharaoh and joseph and uh, moses they're in the bible we know there is some truths of elements in the bible yeah because we believe it was sent by god but not the bible that you have today yeah. so that's why there's consistency when you see things that are written in the old scriptures here so which, there's consistency so which bible do you believe in and no no we don't believe what you have is not the injil that was given to jesus so where's the we injil? believe it's gone it's corrupted wait, wait hold on a second wait, wait, wait. it's corrupted don't you want to find it? <laughs> no, because God said, God said he's not going to preserve it. God says we have sent the Quran. Yeah, God says we send the Quran and it's upon us to preserve it. No, that's I'm why saying, we have the, it preserved. The in the Torah that's mentioned yeah? in the Bible, why, yes. why didn't you You know how because it? Because God Almighty sent it for those people at that time. He never said he's going to preserve it. Yeah. The Quran. Well, it's word, though. No. In the Quran, he word. does say that. It is. It, all right. It's, so so yes. the Torah and the Injil is yes. Alice's word. Yes. Are you not, not curious to even know where it says? 
No, because we've got the well, Quran. You're curious to know what no, the Quran is. No, because the, the, the last testament, you had the Old Testament, yeah. the New Testament, no, you got the last but, testament. But yeah, but to get I don't need opinion, to know about the other one. No, but I say, if, Alice, if the Torah and the, the Injil yes. is Allah's word, yes. I'd be curious to know what. what Why would the, I need to be curious? Look, what you said, no, consistency, yeah. what was already nah, in there yeah. is here. There's, there's some, you know what? There are, there are, no, no, not only that. There, there, no, there's some like the Zabur. No, no, the Zabur, the Torah. Allah says there are some verses. Allah mentions it here. Yeah, there's some verses. Allah says these were in the scriptures before. Why did Allah allow it to get corrupted if the Torah and the Jews? Because He never sent it for those people for all kind, all time. 